The carillon is a keyboard instrument of 53 bells, ranging more than four octaves. The smallest bell weighs 17 pounds and measures 7.5 inches in diameter. The largest, 12 tons and 104 inches. The carillonneur can play melodies and songs with as many as six notes at a time. He plays a piano-like keyboard as well as a pedal board similar to that of an organ. The keyboard is connected via airplane cable to each of the bells, so that when the carillonneur depresses a key with his fist or foot, he mechanically pulls the clapper against a specific bell. The carillon has, on occasion, been played in duets with the peel bells. The carillonneur plays weekly recitals except during Lent. The largest bell in the carillon, called the bourdon bell, is the one tolled at funerals. Each bell bears an inscription from a psalm, such as this one from Psalm 95. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. In a carillon, the metal clapper is pulled to strike the inside of the bronze casting. This is a key difference from the peel bells we'll visit next. The Kibbe carillon was cast and installed in the early 1960s and restored in 2000. Above the carillon is the ringing room, where six to ten ringers play mathematical patterns on the cathedral's English ring. The ropes run through the ceiling to the bells. This enclosed room offers the ringers protection from the extreme loudness of the bells and permits them to rehearse and perform throughout the year. The bells cover an octave and a third, from the treble bell, F sharp, to the tenor bell, D, and range in weight from 608 to 3,588 pounds. The bells themselves are in the highest portion of the central tower, directly above the ringing room. In a ring, the bells themselves rotate and strike a fixed clapper. The period of the rotation is pretty constant, around two seconds. This precludes the possibility of playing tunes or melodies. So, each ringer is assigned a number and the band, or group of ringers, plays a mathematical pattern. A major peal at the cathedral may take three hours, although short pieces may take only a few minutes, and a grand full peal can take several days using all ten bells. The bells can be heard for a couple miles from the cathedral, more depending on wind and weather. From this vantage, you can see parts of Maryland and Virginia, as well as downtown Washington, D.C. In fact, this is the highest vantage in Washington, as the height of Mount St. Alban and the 301 feet of the Gloria in Excelsis Tower combine to form the highest point in the District of Columbia.